Okay, I just wanted to give y'all an update on my channel because I've had a lot of people, you know, here late last month, six weeks, ask me, where you at, John? What you up to? And I appreciate all y'all asking, but what I did, I left New Mexico probably, I think, back in June, and I went up to Colorado, and um, I don't know, I think I got elevation sickness because I went from 7,000 feet automatically to about... 10,000 feet, so I think I got, they call it elevation sickness. So I was having a little bit of hard time breathing, so I have a little brother who lives in Illinois, so I called him because my main concern was little man, having little man someplace where he'd be safe. So I asked my little brother if I could park my camper in his yard or driveway, and I went to, into the hospital and I got checked out and everything. And that way I knew little man was taken, out, taken care of and I didn't have to worry about him, but Everything came out right, so that's about the only thing um, I could figure was going on with my breathing and everything. <clears throat> well, lungs didn't adjust to the change in elevation, and um, I knew I had a rally I wanted to go up to, to Minnesota, so I stayed at Tommy's house for a while. That's my little brother. And then we went up to uh, Minnesota for the rally, and uh, the rally was like three or four days. And from there, we went over to Wisconsin and camped a couple of nights. And from there, we headed over to Michigan and the Upper Peninsula. And I met, I met a friend that I knew from Chicago. It was one of my subscribers, and she just started talking. So she had a scamp, and I had a scamp. So I shared a lot with her about the scamp. And I stayed up there for about a week. And when you're on the road, um, I think I've been gone for a year this trip. My doctors get a little... Um, squirrely with me because you know they in the state of Virginia you're not allowed to keep on filling prescriptions if you don't see the patient once a year and I've had a quadruple bypass so my doctor was like saying you need to come in I need to do an EKG on you I do an ultrasound on you do your chest x-rays so anyway I went home and um had to get all that stuff taken care of and that took time because I, at this day and time, it's not like you can call your doctor and say, hey, can I come in for a visit? So I knew once I went back home to Virginia, I was going to be stuck there for a month or so. So I got all my doctor stuff done. I went to see my primary doctor, and I'm good with my primary doctor. I went to see my heart doctor, and all that checked out good. I also have Cushing syndrome, where um, my adrenal glands had tumors on them. They're on the top of your kidneys. I had to have both my adrenal glands removed so basically I um, have medications I have to take in the morning and night to keep you know my body processing whatever your adrenal glands do for you I'm not really sure because I've really never gotten into great details about it but um yeah now I figure I'm gonna get back at it but um I don't think I'm gonna be going back out to New Mexico this year I, I was in New Mexico I guess I stayed in New Mexico for a good eight to six months last year and and because of the fires and everything, I was like trapped down in the bottom of southern New Mexico. And that's why when I went to northern New Mexico, I mean northern New Mexico, it's just like, just like woods right here. It's beautiful in northern New Mexico. So I stayed up there for a couple of weeks and I went over to Colorado and that's where I got the elevation sickness. So what I think I'm going to do this year, I'm going to stay along the east coast. I'm going to do a whole lot of Corps of Engineering campgrounds because... If you're familiar with the East Coast, there's no BLM land here. Um, so you do either state parks or you do um, boondocking in people's yards or harvest, whatever it is, that where you stay at people's wineries. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay at Corps of Engineering campgrounds because what I want to do, I want to go to Georgia because the month of December and January in, in Georgia, they have half price deal on the state parks. You get 50% off discount on camping. And I did that back in 2018 because Georgia's a beautiful state. I mean, they, it's so much history there. And it's like walking back in time. I mean, like you're walking back 100 years ago, like when you go to, through Savannah, it's got the trees over top of the highways or the streets. I mean, it's really, it's like you're driving through a tunnel of trees and they got free subway. And I just figured I'd spend some time in Georgia, you know, a month or two. I, I got a son, so I might go down to Florida and check that out. But, um, yeah, and then from there, I think I'm going to go to Arkansas because I know quite a few people in Arkansas that I've met 
from last time I was there. Plus, when I was on the road, I met quite a few people. I don't know what, you know, Arkansas must be a popular place because I met quite a few people there. And probably about the fall this I'm going to go this year is going to be Texas. What are you doing, little man? Baby, what are you doing? You being squirrely? He's standing in the doorway of the camper. I don't know. Come here, baby. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be the game plan. Um, yeah, you know, when you're on the road, if you got health issues, which I'm sure all of us do as we get up in age, I mean, that just goes to show you don't have to be, you know, in the greatest health to be out here doing what I do. Because, I mean, like I stated earlier in the video, I've had a quadruple bypass. I mean, I got cushion syndrome. I was in a car wreck a couple of years ago. This song's been rebuilt. And this song here, if y'all ever look at my hand like that, that's a, from a car wreck. I got a hinge put in there. So, you know, this is for all the people out there that want to do this. There's no reason you can't do this. You just have to, what I do, everything I do, I have to pace myself. I, you know, I can't go full speed like I did when I was 20 or 30. I have to basically just pace myself. And, you know, I just take it a little bit slow. But, you know, I enjoy it. Little man enjoys it. I mean... We're going around, we're seeing a little bit of everything, so, I mean, you can still do it. I mean, you got to live within your means, that's the only thing. I mean, I live off of Social Security, so, I mean, and a little bit of savings I have. So, I mean, you know, it's doable. It really is doable, especially this day and time, you just have to live within your means because the price of gas is crazy. And I guess by now, most of y'all know I keep a base camp back home in Virginia. I keep a one-bedroom studio apartment, and just my rent went up 18%. I was like, man, what's up with that? Because it ain't like they did anything to my apartment. But everything's going up, but you can still get out here and enjoy. You don't have to be in the perfect health. Just get out here and enjoy yourself. Take it one day at a time, and if I can do it, y'all can do it. So, uh, yeah, that's my update for now, and I plan on start putting out videos, you know, maybe two a week. I'm not going to push myself like I used to do and have you know three or four videos a week put out because I just it really it's a burn out there so I'm gonna try to go for about two videos a week and most of them will be on the south you know Virginia North Carolina South Carolina Georgia might bump down bump down into Florida for a week or two and then I'm gonna head going west towards um Mississippi and Alabama and Arkansas and I might go into Texas I'm not really sure, but, and then I'll come up with a new game plan come um, spring, but yeah, I, I enjoy cold weather camp myself, so there you go, that's my game plan, and now y'all know what's going on with me, but overall, all is good, me and Lou Man are good, and the ones that contacted me wanted to know what was up or if I was okay, I really do appreciate that, and I thank y'all for that, but I hope you enjoy my videos, I hope you keep watching, if you don't, Please subscribe and hope you do. And that's the end of this video. So I'll see you in my next video.